So the next issue I'm facing here is um, I bought a new radiator, but unfortunately it doesn't have these brackets here, these fittings. Um, this is the old radiator, obviously. Um, and the new radiator is over here. And it doesn't have those fittings at the top. So, now, one thing I could have done here is um, just sort of cut those off and tidy them up a bit. And sort of put them on here. But I can see they're also, uh, on that old radiator, the, the whole bracket here is a little bit wider. Sorry, it's a little bit thinner than this one. So I'm going to have to manufacture um, new brackets for that. So the plan is, is to cut a piece of wood the width of the of what I need to cut it there. I've already marked this piece of uh, piece of wood there. I'm going to cut that off first, and then uh, basically just uh, hammer a piece of steel or tap a piece of steel around that, so I can make the bracket fitting there. Cut it down to size, drill some holes in it, and uh, put the the, the the bolts in it as well. So let me get on with that. So, it fits in there quite well now. Um, there's a little bit of tolerance, which is what I want, so that when I hammer the piece of metal around it, um, it fits into place, obviously. So I'll go ahead now and cut a piece of metal. So it's getting there. Um, what I'll do now is um, measure it up in the um, the radiator, and uh, I'll probably finish it up uh, pressing it in the vise there until it fits. Yeah, so that fits perfectly now. So. Um, just thinking what I should do now. Shall I start to trim it a little bit? It's not bad actually at all. But, um, I might trim the edges there a bit and then drill some holes into the side of it. But yeah, it's not actually too bad. I'm quite pleased with it. Yeah, so I've made the second side now, so they both uh, made it slightly differently. Yeah hammered it in the vise rather than around the piece of wood and it's uh, obviously it went a little bit easier but I'm actually quite pleased with both of them now they're not perfect but um, yeah the one and a half inch steel thick steel sorry one and a half millimeter thick steel um, which is obviously a bit more difficult to work than say for example the 0.8 or one millimeter however they will be easy to weld so eventually what I'll do is um, is when I put in the bolts sticking up at this through the thing that goes basically through the the um, support there for the uh, radiator, basically through these holes here. Um, I'll weld them in place so that uh, it will be easily put together. So what I'll do is I'll measure exactly now 
where I have to drill the holes and uh, get on with that. Yes, yeah, so the only limitation I've got here is that, uh, just, uh, that's in focus here actually, um, yeah, the limitation here is that's got to be to the left of that hole there and the reason for that is is that um, the fan shroud there thing, that thing there, it, it bolts in front of the radiator into these two holes here so that has to be the other side of it otherwise I'm going to struggle to get the uh, the nut on the end of the bolts there if I don't do that correctly that said I could potentially just drill a hole all the way through here and bolt it on that way and um, yeah I'm just wondering what would be the best thing to do here. Um, yeah, and trim it off maybe at the end there. But um, I'll probably go with it the way it is now. And, uh, yeah, trim it off. So I've drilled the holes um, through there. Now the technique I used was basically as, as I put it in place, like that. Held it in. I don't think really need it, I think. My foot. Yeah, I held it in like that and then just basically drill straight through the holes there and actually put in a, a bolt, a, a tiny bolt in the holes to hold them in place once I've already got one established. So yeah, I'm going to turn it over to the other side. So I'm quite pleased with that so far. So I've bolted the brackets in on both sides. Now I'm going to measure it up for, for the bolts on the top and see if I need to cut it as well. So I've put the radiator in place uh, where it's supposed to be and I've marked off this um, felt places where I need to drill the holes. So first of all I'm going to mark I need to drill with this punch. Just hit that with a hammer. And then I'm going to start slowly with the four millimeter bit and then progress up to eight millimeters. When you're drilling, um, take it nice and slowly. If your drill bit's too hot to touch, and then you're probably putting too much energy into there, you'll just uh, blunt your drill bits. So uh, take it. I like to do it in pulses actually until I get going. Like that, basically like that. So you can see it's cutting quite nicely. So I've screwed them all in place. Put the top bolts on as well and let's see how it all fits together. Oh, Jesus. Not bad at all, not bad. So this is the finished article, um, all I need to do now is paint it, give it a bit of rust protection and bolt it on and that's it. The other one is on that side as well. So that's the finished article, then it's bolted back into the uh, top of the radiator and I've tested it to uh, and it fits inside the uh, carrier there and uh, everything seems to be okay. Yeah, these little jobs sometimes they take a lot more time than you can of a TCA. They're quite, satis quite satisfying when you do get them sorted but um, 
Yeah, because it's all part of a restoration project. project. So I bought these two fans off eBay. Uh, the original ones were completely seized up. Um, and uh, one of them's from, I think, from a Ford Escort from about 1986, and the other one's from Ford Fiesta from 1980, I think. So, um, yeah, they bought basically just straight in, um, direct replacement. The only thing I'm worried about slightly is that um, this bit here is a bit thicker, so this is a bit higher than, um, than the original one, so I hope it won't cause me any issues when I bolt everything back into place. But I'll just go about testing them. Positive is going to be that one. The negative, yep, yeah, that works fine. Positive is going to be that one. Yep, they work absolutely fine. So, all good at the moment. I'll bolt them back onto the uh, onto the radiator, and then put them back on the car. So that's ready to go back on the car, all bolted up, again a bit annoying some of the jobs, tedious and time consuming to bolt things on but uh, yeah all good.